Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I am here to share some cards for this week ahead. That's from today, Monday the 6th of April through to Sunday the 12th of April. So I trust this message finds you well and that uh, you find this helpful and supportive for you moving forward. Just a reminder to think of this as a resource. So I suggest coming back throughout the week. Um, I like to stop in on Thursdays and Saturdays just to get my bearings and remind myself of what um, the guidance was for that week. I want to extend an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So uh, what I'll be doing today, I'm going to use my combined deck again. So I'm using my combined deck of Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. These have been combined to create a 110 card deck. And I'll be using this deck to look for the best card for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the best card for the theme for this whole week ahead. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason, and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So take on board what feels right, what resonates, what fits into your life easily and let the rest go. So let's have some fun and see what might be our, our uh, theme, our messages for this week ahead. I'm just going to pause the video and set up my board and my cards and I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, let's get ready. So what I'm doing is I'm shuffling my cards now and I'm holding the intention to find the best cards for the majority of us for Monday the 6th, Tuesday the 7th, Wednesday the 8th, Thursday the 9th, Friday the 10th, Saturday the 11th, Sunday the 12th of April and then one card extra for the theme for the whole week ahead. So what do we need to know about this week? I trust the best cards will find their way to the top of the deck that are the most helpful for the majority of us. So the best cards for this week are these. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the theme card. Interesting. Okay, let's look at Monday, Monday the 6th of April. Yes, we've got the Stallion card one, and it says untie yourself. This is quite a motivating card. And it's reminding us to set our wild spirit free. So notice what's tying you down, what's holding you back, especially within your, within your own attitude, your own issues, your own um, dominance or um, your own insecurities that are holding you back from being who you truly are. This is an opportunity, even though some may be homebound, others may be very busy right now, um, this is a great opportunity for us to really look at ourselves and look at what we want from our life, who we are. We may have spent a lot of our life, if not all of it, living someone else's dream, for example. It may be time now for us to reset that and untie ourselves and start following the passions of our heart to follow and let our wild spirit run free. There's a lot of movement, motivation, action, and in some ways healing with this card. But it, this is the assertive energy. It's the, right, I'm now going to do this for me sort of feeling. This card is Tuesday the 7th of April. We have the Earth Dragon again. He showed up last week for Sunday's card, actually for yesterday's. It's card 25, Earth Dragon, and it says physical reformation. This is about physical changes now in our body, in our life, or to our body, to our life. As I mentioned last week, 
when I drew this dragon, I imagined him sort of walking, very large dragon, walking across the earth and pulling up uh, hills and mountains and pushing down valleys as he walked. So this remolding, this reforming of our life, this reforming, this remolding of our body, of our um, physical experience, our physical life, our physical body is changing. And that's what this card is about. It's the earth dragon. So it's about the earth element, which is about very physical things on the change. We're on the move physically as far as change goes. So we can also say physical transformation, physical change. So there's something shifting on a very physical level for us on Tuesday. And it seems to be about at the moment. It's not dissimilar really to this card. And they have this very similar feeling as they both look towards the same direction. So this card here is Wednesday the 8th of April and it's the turtle card 45 and the turtle says slow and steady. So it's reminding us to pace ourselves that there is no rush and it's interesting because both of these feel quite active, quite motivating, um, quite moving. There's a lot of movement in here so we might feel this sense of movement, but at the same time, there is this sense of no, uh, there's no need to rush. We can take our time with this. We have time to, to take. So slow and steady is his message. And he just wants to remind us to pace ourselves. Let's not get impatient and want everything yesterday. But we can take this time to really look at these things deeply and really give them thought and feeling and um, maybe we can uh, converse with people who might help give us other perspectives and all this stuff's going to help us uh, give us the information that we need to be able to move forward at a slow and steady pace. So we may feel in general just a little slow on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, sorry, a bit slow. There's a bit more movement here, a bit slower moving. On Thursday, this is Thursday the 9th of April, and we have the Tree Maiden again, card 42. She says, ending, surrender, growth, and illumination. She's saying that there's a potency around, especially on Thursday, that there's something potent, amplified, magnified that's trying to get our attention, something illuminated that's trying to get our attention, perhaps in a potent and amplified way. We can think of this card as like things being blown out of proportion or things feeling worse or things feeling better than what they really are. So there's something's being blown out of proportion, something's under the magnifying glass and looks bigger than what it probably really is. The key to this though is about endings and it reminds us to close some old doors now and to let some old things go, especially things that have expired for us. So what I'm seeing from this is as we are motivated to step into our passions, our heart, um, what we really want from ourselves in our life now and be patient in achieving that, this is going to highlight the things that are expired and that require ending or, or closing or finishing or completing or the ends that need tying up in our life so we can move towards these new things that are brewing inside us. We may find that there are new ideas and inspirations and uh, thoughts and we're just filled with ideas perhaps earlier on in the week and we might feel quite eager to get them going and get them happening. This is sort of putting the brakes on that a little bit or slowing that down but And this is also highlighting that there may be some old things we need to detach from or unhinge ourselves from so we can keep growing and moving forward. So there are endings in this card, but also things being amplified, especially on Thursday. Here is Friday the 10th of April. Friday the 10th, we have the giraffe card 33. It says to look at things differently. And so this is about looking at things from a new perspective on Friday. So as things are amplified, maybe blowing out of proportion or things feel worse or better than what they really are, we're being encouraged through that amplification to stick our head up like a giraffe from the, above the treetops and look at this situation from a whole different perspective. 
So we may need more information. We may need to release our fear, our overwhelm, our insecurity that's been stirred up from this energy. And that will help us see things in a new way, from a new light, from a new vantage point, if you like. And this will be important as we round up or get towards the end of uh, next week, is to look at things from a different, clearer perspective. This is Saturday, the 11th of April. And we have card 35, support. And the support card says comfort, loved ones, and reassurance. So this card would only come up um, if we're feeling unsupported, unloved, and we need reassurance. So there's a feeling here that some of us are going to probably need to um, move into some self-care if we have time for that or look at how we can support ourselves or reassure ourselves that everything's going to be okay. There's a lot of love that's coming in the heart here and our loved ones in spirit are close by and they're supporting us from their vantage point, from their viewpoint, from spirit. So our loved ones are close by and we need to perhaps consider on Saturday reassuring ourselves that it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. Let's do what we can or get through one day at a time. Um, that sort of reassurance. Now this is Sunday the 12th of April and Sunday we have Fox card 8. It says to find a way. This is to find a way through something, find a way towards a solution, to find a way out of depression, to find a way to make things right, to find a way to follow our heart, find a way to make it work. So the fox feels to have a determined energy, not dissimilar to the stallion. The stallion's about freeing ourselves up and letting ourselves run, run free and wild again. This is about looking at an obstacle, looking at a forest in front of us and carving out a path for ourselves. So there is a lot of self-responsibility with this card. There's a lot of empowerment. There's a lot of assertiveness like with this. Um, so on Sunday, we've been encouraged to find a way. Find a way depends on what you're feeling at the time. Now, there is a lot of assertive energy coming through quite a lot of strong energy too um, in the middle though we've got support we've got patience slow and steady there is an amplification that amplifies really a lot of these cards here as well there are changes in our physical life and um, an opportunity to see things differently our theme card is going to help us see the bigger picture for the whole week and really bring these days together Oh, how funny. This is the Flamingos card 40. And it says social gathering. Social gathering. Now, we all know this is not something we're able to do at this time. But having said that, there are a lot of people out there on the front line who are out there still able to work and still working with people. So our social gathering is probably going to be an important thing to consider this week especially if we're out there dealing with people um, on a day-to-day -day basis at the moment. So this is something to keep in mind, is that social space. Um, also, there's a feeling here too of staying in contact with people who we, we are usually social with. So our family members, our friends, our co-workers, if our workplace is closed at the moment, um, is to remain social and make an effort to keep that social energy going to reach out and support those that you know who um, may be isolated or may be working at the front line at the moment. What can you do to help them? How can you reach out to them this week? And there may also be a stirring up of a strange energy, a strange um, block or insecurity or issue that's coming up around uh, being social. I know a lot of us are quite paranoid about that at the moment and we have by the sounds of it, all rights to be. So what are we doing this week in regards to our social interactions? Are we feeling hesitant about socialising? Are we feeling scared about socialising? Are we feeling okay to just roll with the rules and keep our distance and use our precautions and our protection? 
So it's very much about where does the social element fit in for you this week, um, especially in regards to issues, especially in regards to fear around social gathering. What is that stirring up and what can you do about shifting that, especially if it's amplified at the moment? So there are our cards for this week. Okay, so it looks like an interesting week ahead. Um, there's a lot of potential healing here, especially as things rise up to the surface. We look at them, we clear them, and then we let things settle down. So this rise and fall, this rising and settling is probably going to be strong this week, especially as we push through and we're motivated and we're inspired by things, but at the same time we might be physically limited with what we can actually put into play and into practice. And this is good because it gives us room and time for thought, for um, research perhaps, for conversations and really getting clear about what we want and how we want to do it moving forward. So very interesting. This week I've used my combined Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. Um, these decks have been created by me and if you want to learn more about them or start working with them yourself, we are shipping worldwide from Australia. So you can uh, grab yourself a deck if you want to at templeofbalance.com.au. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. So we have our healing marathon coming up actually on Wednesday. So Wednesday we have the turtle slow and steady. So our healing marathon day and those of you joining me for that, we're going to be really pacing ourselves, but we're going to be bringing a lot of things up because I want to really take this as deep, deep as I can on Wednesday. So I look forward to connecting with you. If you want to be a part of this 12 hour healing marathon, it starts Wednesday. If you want to join with me or you can come in on Thursday, Friday, you can do it over the weeks to come. It doesn't matter. If you want to be a part of it and take your connection or this healing time deeper and really use this time to your advantage, then please join me for the 12 hour healing marathon. It's on Wednesday. Maybe when you're watching this, it's already happened. It may be Wednesday now. You may be watching this first up on Monday. So it's not too late to join in if you want to. Just go to templeofbalance.com.au and there on the home page, I've got a little uh, tag that can take you straight over to that particular event if you want to register it's it's going to I'm really looking forward to it so it's going to be really interesting um, there's some pendants on my website there's also some new ceramics I released last week um, that you can find at my ceramics website leannepeters.com and um, uh, that's probably all for now so thanks for connecting have a fantastic week ahead keep an eye out for my mostly daily videos on my Facebook page Temple of Balance on Facebook I may miss a day here or there it depends how I feel but I will be in most days again this week so take care of yourself and uh, please remember that you're loved and supported and uh yeah, let's get through this. So thank you so much and namaste.